in this uh, simple lifetime that we're going through when thousands and thousands of people losing their faith to crazy and silly low people mindsets opinions that are spreading their lies and their evil methods on social media many innocent people are falling to that darkness of uh, of sadness of anger of frustration of bloodshed of negativity of being so cruel and evil toward weak and being bullies online pushing awful horrible vain arrogant and ignorant opinions to the stage and table of debates while being so 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 lack of knowledge so lack of true true understanding of life purpose and life meaning and and having a real spiritual connection to the maker of the universe the one who created it all from complete zero from emptiness people are asking me who is your god what kind of a question is that this is such a silly silly question to ask a person that has a simple faith in one god in the creator of the universe and while he believes in that one in that unity that is gathering all under its wings to asking in which god you believe which is your god do we pick a god god is the maker god is the creator there is only one god and there is nothing but him you want to call him in a certain name you want to express a certain tradition that you got from your ancestors from your family from your community this is a beautiful thing share let us know what you heard about the creator what you heard about about the messiah let us know your opinion let us hear your thoughts your tradition but to think that there are few gods Allah will erase Hashem Hashem will fight the Lord the Lord will what are those craziness crazy thoughts what are those silly ideas there is one God this is the truth we believe in that this is why we can call God the God of truth because the verse is saying Adonai Elohim emet the God is the God of truth the fact that he is God is truth and therefore everyone who will believe in him and will follow him and his greatness and his godliness and his holiness and his amazing amazing existence shall be redeemed by him and enjoy the light of his greatness and his mercy and kindness but people that has false assumptions negative people with negative mindsets evil people with cruel ideas that wants to put themselves on the top of the world and to imagine to themselves that they are the rulers and that they are about to inherit the world to come and that they are the only true believers to follow any religion that makes the followers of it think that they are better than someone else this is for sure false and this is for sure a very low understanding of the nature of creation and the nature of our God the truth is that there is one God and the fact that in Judaism we're mentioning the fact that the Israeli people are the chosen nation it's not from any side any kind of expression of arrogance to think that we are better than someone else because the only purpose that for it we were chosen as a nation 
was only as the fact that we were totally humbled by the Egyptians when we were used and abused as slaves in the ancient Egyptian kingship in old ancient Egypt more than 3,000 years ago and because that we were totally humbled by the Egyptians and the horrible decrees and suffering and pain that we experienced over there because of that we were chosen as humble people that were totally destroyed and broke down to be united in humility and holiness receiving the holy tablets and the wisdom of Hashem the name means the Creator following that light being totally humbled by reality and finding the truth the humbling truth of His greatness that is putting us all into proportions understanding that we are creations that we are Hashem's creations based on that humbling perspective we were chosen to shine the light of the Torah of the oral and the written Torah among the nations and for that purpose we've been spread and exiled into between and among the nations for us to share the knowledge and for us to shine the light among all the truth seekers the holy sparks the holy godly souls that are searching and of course the lost tribes of Israel that are until today searching the way back to the holy land of Israel the land that belongs to Israel Israel is the second name, the blessed name that Hashem gave to Yaakov our main father Yaakov that was the father only of our nation and not of other nations Yaakov may his name be blessed he was the father of the 12 tribes one of the tribes is the tribe of Yehuda one of the tribes is the tribe of Levi one of the tribes is the tribe of Yosef or the flying of Menashe all the tribes are holy and among them is Hashem the portion of Hashem is our godly soul treasured within every Israeli person and waking up especially in the holy land and while learning Torah may his shine and holiness and purity shine upon us all to illuminate the world with the light of faith of the true believers and the honest honest and humble ones and may the light shine upon us all to rise in greatness to be redeemed in holiness and purity in front of our lord in front of the master of the universe forever and ever amen Look at this beauty and may it shine inside your hearts forever and ever and ever. Amen.